Tom and Eileen Lonigan were an American couple from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, who in 1998 went on a diving expedition at the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia. The diving boat which had dropped them off at a certain location had returned to land without picking them back up. Two days later, the company discovered their error and a massive search was undertaken, but they were never found. The story of their disappearance was huge in Australia and received international attention. The tabloids had a field day speculating on the causes and the nature of their deaths. The tragedy was replayed on shows like Inside Edition 2020 and even inspired this Hollywood movie. I knew Tom and Eileen. We were in the U.S. Peace Corps and together went through training, homestays, and the same swearing-in ceremony in Fiji in 1994. Even though they were placed in the country of Tuvalu, they visited Fiji frequently during the time I was there and I got to know them. This is a picture taken of Tom and Eileen at our Peace Corps swearing-in ceremony. What follows is video of them accepting their positions in the country of Tuvalu. I'm putting this up because searches of their names on YouTube all bring up clips of the movie Open Water, which does not at all capture the real Tom and Eileen that I and my other Peace Corps volunteers knew. All the government of Tuvalu, and uh, I think I speak from my heart that Tuvalu um, is anxiously waiting for your arrival in the country, and in that respect, the Tuvalu government. I, on behalf of the Tuvalu government, accept your term of office, or rather term in the country, of two years. Thank you very much. Bruce Gray, Charged Affairs with the U.S. Embassy. Mr. Fayoe Tipu, Tuvaluan Embassy Ambassador. The Honorable Taukfa Vakatale, Minister of Education, Ms. Carolyn Waterman, Country Director for Fiji and Tuvalu, Mr. Akwila Sovatabua, Associate Peace Corps Director, Mr. Nathaniele Vasorogothi, Training Officer, Ms. Joan Hewer, Project Director, Fellow Volunteers, Friends, and Honored Guests. <laughs> Welcome to the swearing-in ceremony for Tuvalu 18 and Fiji 78. Okay. Tuvalu 18, composed of Karim, Tom, and myself, is, I think, the largest group ever to go to Tuvalu. <laughs> Karim will be the new marine fisheries volunteer. He will be working in the research division of the fisheries department on Funafuti Atoll. Although he'll live in Funafuti, he'll likely spend a lot of time on the fishing vessel, the Manawi, visiting all the islands documenting Tuvalu Sea's helper. This is an important step, and in doing so, Tuvalu is joining five other Pacific nations whom, whose students will take Pacific Secondary Senior Certificate Examination. Tom and I expect to serve as Motufoa's Form 5 and 6 Science and Math teachers, and we feel privileged to be a part of this important addition to Tuvalu's educational system. We are honored also to be the first Peace Corps teachers ever to serve in Tuvalu, and we hope to establish a new and lasting tradition of Peace Corps teachers at Motufoa, like the one they have in Fiji except not that many teachers. <laughs> we would like to thank all the trainers who put so much time and hard work in, into preparing us for this day. We are glad it's finally here. And we are looking forward to the adventure that awaits us in Tuvalu. So on behalf of Tuvalu 18, I want to say that we are honored to accept th the next two years of service in Tuvalu. Thank you. to give a special thanks for our language trainers, Salilo and Panapa, and Tom will do that for us. To Tonga Suopele, Ma Afiafi, Mato e Manako, O Fakutai, 
ki motu faiakonga o te ngara tuvalu, mo tino tuvalu, stadio tui, mo panapa patiale. Whakaftai lasi lasi, mo o lua ngā oenga lei, i te taimi o te pisati. Ma tō ne fia fia, ma losi, o mata i kio mo tuvalu. A tino ne ngali, ki a mato i konei. I te aso nei, ma tō e loto whakaftai mo te whizozo ani mai. Whakamolemole e whakamealo alofa ne ma tō a pelenga i konei. Karin. E pelenga. Whakaftai lasi lasi te atua ke whakamanguia ne ia kolua.